Today it's all about the Explorer, the Rolex Explorer 214270. After having worn this watch for over a year now, I will share facts, figures and more with you in this video. A lot of technical information concerning this watch and its history can already be found on the website, links are below in the description. Before we start I will give you the essential technical details here in the next 60 seconds. The Oyster case design and the twin lock crown ensure a 100 meter water resistance. This is a time only, no date and no nonsense wristwatch. The dial has applied white gold indices and numerals which are generously loomed with Rolex's blue chromolite loom. The bezel is polished, as are the sides of the case and the links. This adds a bit of a welcome spark to the otherwise Spartan design. The Explorer comes on the iconic tapered Oyster bracelet. The bracelet that, let's face it, all other bracelets want to be when they grow up. It features the robust Oyster clasp with the extra Oyster lock for added security. It wears very well and flat against the wrist. Being all steel, it has a weight to it, yes, but absolutely nothing uncomfortably heavy. The chronometer caliber 3132 is built like a tank and features Rolex's parachrome hairspring and paraflex shock absorber. The Explorer used to be 36mm wristwatch, as we see here looking at this vintage 1016. The current model measures 39mm. If you can't live with a 39mm size and desperately want a modern Rolex, you might want to have a look at the Oyster Perpetual in 36mm. That being said, the current model feels very much like a current watch. A watch that is made today and ready for tomorrow. Engineered essentially to perfection. Exactly what you would want and expect from a modern Rolex. Everything feels about as solid as it can get and it is essentially a no-worry wristwatch. It looks and feels like you can throw pretty much anything you want at it. The Explorer can go perfectly unnoticed if you want it to. The only eye-catching features it has are in fact the bezel and oddly enough the crystal. The bezel is polished and does pick up hairline scratches over time, but it certainly keeps its luster. True to Rolex's design ethos, the sapphire crystal suffers a complete lack of anti-reflective coating. This allows the light to dance around the face of the watch quite dramatically in daylight, as I am showing in this video right now. The lack of AR, quite atypical in today's watch world, is a non-issue for reading the time since the crystal is essentially flat. The fact that the crystal is flat and that AR coatings tend to wear out over time are likely part of the reasons why Rolex does not add the coatings in the first place. As far as wearability goes, the Rolex Explorer checks all boxes. You can wear this on a suit to the office with a nice sport jacket on the weekend or pair it with your favorite board chores as you stroll the beaches of Saint-Tropez in the summer. This watch is versatile. It can easily fly under the radar when you want it to, which is quite a unique feature when looking at the broader Rolex sports watch lineup. To change things up once in a while, put it on a leather strap or on the NATO strap and you essentially have a new watch. Variety is after all the spice of life. The 214270 also exists in a version with no luminous numbers and a shorter handset. It has the exact same reference number as the watch we are looking at, but for ease of speaking that particular release is referred to as the Mark 1, whereas the one we are looking at is generally called the Mark 2. In conclusion, the watch is timeless and built to last. The perfect go-anywhere-do-anything wristwatch. You could easily buy an Explorer and never want or need to buy another watch again. It's that kind of watch. <laughs> 